guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have a different background here today. I've just switched the camera around so you can see the rest of my room and see what else goes on in my beauty room. But as you can probably see from the title of this video, we are going to be talking about aging. Now right up front, I just wanna say this is not a sponsored video nor is it an infomercial. So you're not gonna get to the end of this video and be duped into watching a 10 minute video to sell you a specific brand of products or a specific product. So um, I will tell you at the end of the video, I will explain or give you some um, ideas of some products that you can use to help with this process, I'll say, um, but some of these products you may already have in your kitchen cabinet. So. Um, as we get into this, the next thing you're probably asking yourself is what is this young girl doing thinking she can talk to us about aging? So hopefully that's what you're thinking. Uh, when I've shared my age with a few of my young piano students, um, I'm always um, pleasantly surprised when they are shocked of how old I am. So. Um, I am 40 years old. I know some of you are thinking, oh, she's ancient, and others of you are thinking, oh, to be 40 again. I understand. 40 is, as they say, the new 30 and so on and so forth. I first want to say there's absolutely nothing wrong with aging. In fact, if we're not aging, we're dead. So aging is a natural part of, process, of the process of life. So if you feel like, oh, um, I am less of a person because I've got wrinkles or because I'm showing signs of aging, please put that out of your mind. Um, you know, I am a great believer of beauty comes from the inside. And what we do on the outside is just like adding frosting to a cake. If there is something that you can do to make you feel more confident in the skin that you're in, by all means do it. So whether it be putting on a nice bright lipstick to perk you up for the day, or it be putting on foundation to cover up scars or things like that, I am all for that. I know I would have never made it through my late teens and early 20s without foundation and concealer to cover up my horrible acne and scarring. So now back to our subject of aging. What do you think is the best thing that you can do to prevent the signs of aging and diminish the look of aging? Now, if you'll allow me just one more little bunny trail, I think we all can look back at various points of our lives and say, woulda, coulda, shoulda, if only I hadn't spent so much time in tanning beds, or if only I hadn't spent so much time out in the sun, or um, if only I had put on more moisturizer, or if only I had done this. None of us can go back and change that. The other thing we can't change is we can't change our genetics. And let's be honest, genetics play a lot into the way that we show the signs of aging. So uh, for me, I have my dad's side of the family of the forehead creases. Um, I've got my mom's side of the family has smile lines, all that, but hey, if you have smile lines, it just means that you smile a lot. So. Now let's get back to it. So what is the number one way to prevent and diminish the signs of aging? Is it moisturizing? Is it drinking lots of water? Is it wearing sunscreen? All of those things are really great things and all a part of the process. But the number one thing is, drum roll please, exfoliating your skin. I have a couple of friends who are estheticians, licensed estheticians, and one of them, her name is Rachel, she came and did a talk about beauty and skin care for the ladies at my church. So my friend Rachel presented this idea that the best thing you can do is exfoliate, and her backing of this idea is to look at the differences between men and women and how we age. In general, most men seem to age a little more gracefully on their face than women do. Now, I will be the first. I grew up with brothers. I've been married for, well, almost 16 years. Um, so I know that men in general are not the first one to jump on the bandwagon to use a new eye cream or <laughs> use anti-aging creams. 
In fact, my husband, up until a couple years ago, was using the nearest kind of soap to wash his face, and that included Dawn dish soap. Yes, he was using Dawn dish soap on his face. So, all of that to say, men in general are not really good about diligently taking care of their skin. But what is the one thing that most of them do every day? They shave. And the process of shaving exfoliates the skin. So, when my friend Rachel presented this idea to us ladies, that got my brain going and thinking. At this point, I was not yet 40 and I had felt like my lines on my forehead and here between my brows and all of that was getting a little more pronounced. So I started diligently making sure to exfoliate my skin several times a week and I've noticed huge improvement. Exfoliating the skin not only um, takes, removes away the dead skin cells, but it also helps your moisturizer, your serums, all of that soak into your skin better and you get more benefits from doing that. So now on to exfoliators. So what would I recommend for exfoliating? So all of these products and methods are things that I have tried. Some of them I love. There's a couple that I don't love so much. Really one in particular, but I'll get to that. So I'm going to go with kind of the cheapest most easily accessible thing that you could do to exfoliate your skin, and that is pure baking soda. Yes, you can use this as an exfoliator on your skin. You can use this, um, I was using it in the shower. It's a very gentle exfoliator. So if you have super sensitive skin, acne prone skin, this is a really nice, soft, gentle way to exfoliate your skin. You can just add a little bit of water rub it as a paste on your skin and rinse it off. The other thing you can do to amp up the exfoliating factor a little bit is add some lemon juice to it. Or you can amp up the exfoliating factor and add a little bit of sugar with that lemon juice. And that is a another kind of, it's still gentle, but it's a little more exfoliating than the baking soda. But all of those are all natural. You can also um, use a heavier or a larger grain sugar if you want a deeper scrub. Just be careful. Um, start slow with your exfoliating and see how your skin does. And those you can do several times a week if you want. Now the next type of exfoliating um, that I love to do, and I will do this um, about every other day, and that is to use a good old manual face brush. So this one is from Sephora. It's $10. Tweezerman just came out with one. I've not tested that one at all. I think there's a 16. But these are pretty soft bristles and I just put a little soap on my face, rub it all over, and it helps not only exfoliate but get your skin super super clean. All right, so now into the next category which would be actual scrubs. Um, that you can purchase already formulated for you. So these next two are my top favorite. Um, this one is a new, actually both of them are relatively new in the last couple months to me. I received them in my FabFitFun box. And this first one is the Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Age Defying Exfoliator um, and it says it renews skin, radiance, polishes and smooths, help diminish the look of fine lines. This is incredible. My, my skin feels so amazing when I get done with this. Now, uh, with all of these exfoliators, especially these that I'm going to be talking about now, you do want to make sure you read the directions. There are certain exfoliators that you should only do once a week. There's a couple like this one that says you can use it twice a week, but you need to make sure you wait three days in between. So that usually is dependent upon what type of exfoliator is in there to exfoliate your skin. So this is a great product. You can get this at Sephora. Um, I'll try to link all these products if I can find them down below, except of course baking soda, sugar, and lemon juice. You can find all this. Um, the second type of exfoliator that I got in another FabFitFun box was this, um, I'll show you the outer packaging, 
this ORG skincare and it's called Mineral Peel Face. It is, I believe, a Korean brand and I was a little scared if I'm being honest to try this. Uh, so what you're supposed to do is you spray this on your face. I shield my eyes from it, spray it on, let it sit on your face for three to five seconds, and then start massaging it into the skin and it dissolves your dead skin. So um, after getting over my initial feel, fear of it, and this is what the bottle looks like, I gave it a try and I, this is another product that I absolutely love. It's, I've used um, a product like this before on my feet where you just rub it in until the dead skin starts to rub off and this does that but it does not irritate your skin, your skin, it doesn't burn or anything. It is amazing. So again, that is the um, ORG Mineral Peel Face. I think that should be reverse mineral face peel, but I'm just saying it like it is. So, so those are my favorite, favorite products. Now there's a couple others that are good. Um, this one I've used, it's been a while since I've been using my other um, exfoliators, but this is also a great all natural one. This is by Acure. Um, you probably know I love a lot of their face products. I use their moisturizer, eye cream, all that. So this is the Brightening Facial Scrub. It's Argon Stem Cell Plus Chlorella Growth Factor, which is kind of the same stuff that's in my um, face moisturizer and eye cream. Um, but this one is a little grittier, and um, this one does say um, that you can use this three times a week. I didn't find it to be too harsh. It does have a pretty decent, like medium grit, um, but it also, what does it say it does? It has organic sea kelp lemon peel um, to help also exfoliate the skin. So a lot of these exfoliators that you can buy in tubes and bottles and stuff like that have other um, ingredients in them that help also dissolve dead skin. So um, now the other one um, that I have also, um, I haven't used it a ton, but this is the Bare Minerals Mix Exfoliate Smooth. And this one is also another one that says that you can you can use it as much, it says, can be used anytime exfoliation is desired. So it is a dry kind of powder-like substance that has a little bit of granules in it. You add it to your cleanser, rub it on your face, and rinse it off. And it does a pretty decent job. So. Um, this is a pretty good one, just a little more expensive um, than obviously your sugar and lemon are going to be. Um, and now the last product, this is new to me and a couple, got it a couple weeks ago. This is the Tweezerman Break Complexion Facial Derma Planer. <clears throat> um, this is the product that I'm just not 100% sold on. Um, does it exfoliate? It does. Um, the main purpose that I got it was because I also have facial hair and this is supposed to, you can use it one way to exfoliate. So pressing down on your skin to exfoliate, going up to remove hair. It doesn't remove hair. I mean, it might remove like five hairs in the four times I've used it. Um, it has kind of a razor blade. I know that sounds scary. Um, and it comes with a couple of replacement blades. You're supposed to drag this over your skin. You can only do it twice in each spot. You got to follow the directions. You're only supposed to do it like once a week or once every two weeks. Um, it does exfoliate. I used it last night just to try it again. The tough thing is it's not at all flexible. So to try and get into the crevices of your face, it does not work at all for your lip. I mean, it's it's just, I just don't love it. Um, and also, this is gonna sound gross, but the dead skin and all that you're exfoliating gathers underneath this blade here. Um, so you have to use like a toothbrush and soap to kind of scrape that off. I don't know. So it's not my favorite. It does work, 
but it's $30 and I feel like for $30 some of these other exfoliating I mean even this good old brush um, is much more worth your money so those are all the products that I've used there are tons of other products on the market but the key to today's video is to encourage you to exfoliate your skin um, you know none of us are going to stop the aging process I mean you can go get fillers of Botox all that there's nothing wrong with that but this is something simple that you can do today and several times a week and your skin will thank you for it and you will notice remarked improvement so that's it for today's video I hope that you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching subscribing liking the video um, all these products if I can find them I will link them in the description box below and I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video